Hello, this is Steve Laskovich of Luminous Works, and I've got a tip about making social media ads or any other document that you want to post to social media of various platforms. Isn't it infuriating? Okay, I find it infuriating that they are so many different aspect ratios, sizes and shapes that are required of us. There's some correlation a little bit sometimes, but man, it's a pain. So I want to talk, take some of that pain out by showing you a few features first in InDesign and then in subsequent tips, I'll be showing you also in Photoshop as well as Illustrator and in something called Adobe Express. I'll end with that. All of them have pros and cons and we'll discuss those a bit too and require some prep or have some quirks to them. But today it's going to be Adobe InDesign. So I've got this document right here. It's an ad. I've placed a, a few images, one with dots, one of this very happy shopper. I made some text frames here, including the circular one. And they all have something special about them to take advantage of the feature we're going to use to make the different sizes and shape ads we need. Um, just to let you know, we're going to be using eventually here a feature called Adjust Layout, which is very cool if things are prepped right. So what's, what's involved in that prep work? Well, since Adjust Layout affects not just the page you're looking at, but any other page that happens to have the same parent. So I have three different parents here. I could have five or six, depending on how many different uh, platforms I'm going to be using. I'm going to do here Facebook and a couple for Instagram, for example. And this week, I have the pixel dimensions I need for those, I think, unless they changed in the last day or two. I don't know. But actually, this feature will help me even if they have. So let's take advantage of it. So I had to make several parents, parent spreads pages, and I've applied them to several document pages. So the uh, only the one that's active will get affected by Adjust Layout, and I won't mess up too many. The other thing I've done in a couple of cases here is I've set up, um, for example, take this image, an image frame, and I've set up uh, a little bit of frame fitting options on it. Namely, that it's always going to be filled without distorting the picture. The upper right corner of the picture will be in the upper right corner of the frame. And as I resize it, you know, willy-nilly later, that will maintain itself with this feature called Auto Fit. Let me show you. So if I were to grab this right-hand edge and move it to and fro, the image adjusts as maybe, hopefully, I would want. Let me undo that. I also have an image in here, way, way at the bottom. It's this gradient that was actually built in Illustrator. And it has a very unusual frame fitting option applied to it. One I, I usually tell my students is evil and I wish I could remove it. Don't tell them I did this. But fit content to frame, not proportionally, which means that if the frame were to be distorted, so would the content, in this case, a gradient. Well, it's just a gradient. It comes from Illustrator, so it's vector. I just wanted that that kind of aqua green here to, or to be, I guess it's more green, be in the lower left and this teal uh, cyan to be in the upper right, no matter what the size and shape of that frame happened to be. So it'll, it'll be responsive as I need it to be. Uh, there's also an image of dots, just to add a little visual interest to the upper left because the text is over here on the right. And these text frames are even have some interesting things going on. This one, nothing special, just vertically aligned and horizontally aligned. So if you have a question, though, about, hey, wait a minute, how do I build those parents and document pages and do these frame fitting options and whatnot? Well, we have some courses. Of course, uh -huh, we do. We have InDesign Essentials, which is offered both in person, live, and also via on-demand video so that you can enjoy it from anywhere on the globe anytime you want. We also have our InDesign Foundations course, one day via Zoom. And uh, we're rather excited that we have a book to suggest. I happen to have written it, <laughs> so maybe that's a little selfish. Uh, the Course and Compendium. And we have Course and Compendium books for many other Adobe applications as well. But we'd love to meet you. So if you wanted to come and take a class or uh, do it via Zoom or via recording, we'd love to know about it. Anyway, back to this very specific application, which by the way, is also part of that InDesign Essentials class now, at least the in-person one and the Zoom one. So I've got this content and I've got this page. 
and I don't need anything selected to do this. Next step, and there's going to be an odd step in here. I'm going to go to File, Adjust Layout, and I'll put in the dimensions since I'm working in pixels today because that's what's required of us, pixels. I'm going to do first this um, smaller Instagram version of this. Same aspect ratio. So it shouldn't look any different, just smaller. So let me put in the correct dimensions here. So I'm going to do 1080 by, what does it tell me? 566, a nice round number. And I'm not going to adjust the margins. The margins are slender, and I, I kind of like where they are uh, proportionally. But I am going to let the font sizes all change. So as the thing, the whole thing gets smaller, the text will proportionally get smaller too. And the auto sizing of those frames, because I'm using text frame auto sizing on them, will help me recover from that. If the frame size changes more than the font size uh, accommodates. So let me hit OK to this. And it just got a little bit smaller. And again, yeah, it doesn't look much different at all, just a little bit tinier. I'm going to select all this stuff, copy it. Now here's the tricky bit. I've copied, it lives on my clipboard. I'm going to do undo, which doesn't undo the copy, it undoes the adjust layout. So that leaves this first page, my Facebook ad intact. I can go to the second page, paste what I copied, which is the shrunken version. There we go. And now I've got two pages, one for each size ad. Pretty nifty, right? So we've got two of our three ads done. Let me go back to the first page. That's the one that likes to be adjusted when we use adjust layout. Like I said, it's a little quirky, but anyway, this page and any others that use the same parent first page and any that use the same parent are the ones that are adjusted with adjust layout. So I went back to page one, file, adjust layout. This time it's going to be 1080 by 1080. And again, I'm going to tell it to adjust font size. Wouldn't it be nice if that remembered that from the last time? Yeah, I think so too. I'll hit OK. I get a square. Now that one looks a little small, but we'll adjust that in a minute. But wow, everything else looks pretty nice. Let me select all of that stuff, copy it again, and again undo. But that undoes only the adjust layout. Back to the square, paste, and put it into position. And the only thing I can think that I'd want to do is Command Shift or Control Shift, resize that. Get it kind of pleasantly scaled. And maybe that's a fair square version of this. So I've got my square. I've got my 1.91 to 1, but 1080 uh, wide. And I've got my Facebook with its bizarre dimensions there. At that point, I could choose to do this. File export. And I'm going to export as PNG files to my desktop and you know, add as a base name here. I'm going to use all pages. And although this really ticks me off, I have to use a resolution of 72 PPI. <sighs> don't get me started. I don't need a transparent background because I have the backgrounds all filled in with nice gradient here. And I don't need to simulate anything. So I think we're ready to go. RGB, good quality, all good things. Go. Did it do it? I don't know. Let's go see. Let me hide in design. <gasps> Look at that, would you? I got three ads here. I'll have to fix the names. So I know who's who. I guess that one is pretty obvious. But now I have three PNGs of the correct pixel dimensions, just to prove it to you. 1080 by 1080 for that square. Yes. And then I could post these happily. All right. If you'd like to learn more about our classes or our books, or just want to send us a note, head on over to luminousworks.com. I'd love to talk with you. Cheers.